Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can map network drives in Windows via the command line. For instance, you can create a batch file that connect all your network drives for a certain network and also disconnecting once you go to a different network. For example, I have a network connection here, a network drive, and if I'm not on the correct network and I, it happens that I click here, right click, or maybe a program wants to access the drive, then you will get these nasty timeouts where the explorer hangs. And so in order to get around that, uh, I created me a bunch of batch files that I can run if I'm on a certain network, which will map all the network drives for that certain network and also disconnect others. Okay, uh, I have here my network drive. And as you can see here, it's mounted under the Z drive letter. And here we have the server address, uh, aka computer name, and also the share name, which is D, very simple. Okay, let's get started. And first, uh, I disconnect the network drive here. Uh, sorry, my Windows is in German, but I think on the command line, it doesn't make much difference. So I open up the Windows terminal here, and you can either open the PowerShell or the command line. It works on both command line interfaces. Okay, let's do first connect a network drive. And this is done by the following command. I will just paste it in here and then we will we'll go through that. We have the net command, net use, then the drive letter. We want to assign the network drive. And after that, uh, it's um, the computer name. Here's my IP address and the share name, um, just like you would do on the Windows Explorer to map your network drive. And this fancy name here is a password for this uh, particular share network share here and you can also provide a user here uh, with user and then you provide the user in my case i want to use the user from that computer from my network attacks storage and the username is here it's userly okay once i hit enter and basically this tells us that the command was run successfully and as you can see here in the explorer uh, the network drive is now mapped and connected and when I restart the computer, the network drive is no longer mapped. Uh, it's uh, gone away because this is not a permanent um, network connection. But you can do that also. I disconnect here my network drive. And now we want to do a permanent connection, which will automatically reconnect once I restart my computer. So the command is basically the same. But in the end, we have an additional parameter here and persistent yes and when you run this command here, the network drive is connected and it will automatically be reconnected when I restart the computer. Of course, I cannot only connect to network drives here or map them to a drive letter. Uh, I can also disconnect network drives here. And for that, we can use the following command, net use. Then we use the drive letter here from our network drive. Uh, in our case, it's Z. And delete with the delete parameter here. So once I hit enter, it's run successfully. And as you can see, the drive has gone away and it, now it's disconnected. Uh, here I connect again. And there's another possibility to delete or unmap all network drives uh, at once. This is this command here. It uses a wildcard here, a star, delete and also uh, a Y parameter here, which basically tells the computer that we don't want to be asked or bugged. And so all network connections are now disconnected. This really disconnects all map network drives at once. Okay, and that's uh, how you can do that. Uh, you can put these commands in a batch file and run this batch file, for example, during computer startup, or if you are connected to a certain network and want to map the network drives for this certain network. And that's how you can do that. And of course, every, every command, you, do, you don't need to type this up. I will put a link in the video description where you can get all the information here. And it's basically a blog post where all the commands are here shown again. So you can just copy them, modify them, and run them on your computer. And well, that's it. Goodbye.